house watchers this is your general love reading virgo i feel like you're working on a new beginning here but i feel like it's because you're leaving behind somebody that was maybe doing some manipulation on you and keeping you from where you wanted to be so stick around let's see where this goes Virgo, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'll get into your spread, and then I'll get you some oracle cards for clarification. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. For Virgo, what's Virgo need to know? Let's see energy for Virgo. I feel like you want to work on a new beginning of love and abundance here. With that eight of pen eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance for virgo give me the energy of all 12 signs around virgo starting with aries you're dealing with an aries um i feel like they're they're ending something to start something new this may have been ending a third party to start something new or working on ending something to start something new if you're dealing with a taurus I feel like there's deception around the the empress so there's deception where the empress is concerned with the taurus if you're dealing with the gemini they're very up in their head about a relationship if you're dealing with a cancer i feel like somebody's very anxious and it's causing a tower moment if you're dealing with a leo Someone's looking at past mistakes, wanting to communicate. If you're dealing with another Virgo, someone's being patient about a broken heart. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone's at a crossroads about moving on. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like they may be confused. Or daydreaming, they could be daydreaming about you, or or they're confused about you, uh, or this isn't. They feel like, well, I don't feel like this is an option or an illusion. I don't feel like you're an option to this person. I feel like it's more that they're either confused or daydreaming about you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone's making a hit over heart decision to cut something out and end something. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. They want to rush towards you and speak their truth to get justice. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's walking away and out in the cold. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like somebody is watching, but they're resting and recovering. So this person could be recovering from an illness or an accident, whatever this is, this person is. That like I feel like man down on aisle five kind of thing. This person's down. Um, but there's a sort of truth next to them and the, the, they're heartbroken about something. With that three of swords, they're resting and recovering, but they're watching. They're watching. They got their eye on you. So I don't know why I needed to say that for you, but there you go. Let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Your energy. Virgo, do you want to work on having this new beginning of love and abundance with that ace and eight? Let's get into your reading and see why. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Okay. Okay, so there you go. You're trying to work on this. Um, it could be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but I feel like someone's very strategic, not showing emotion. Someone's very cold. You're you're thinking you need to work with somebody, but you know that they may be pissed or they're angry. Um, they're they've got that sort of truth in their hand, but I feel like this person's got a plan. They're being very st strategic, and I don't like that the magician came out after this person because, um. They're manifesting justice in a situation. I almost feel like strategic about 
manifesting or manipulation, but they're manifesting justice here for a long time. They need to speak a truth. Somebody needs to speak a truth. And I feel like this is your energy, Virgo, that you're trying to work with this person, but you're manifesting, you're manifesting justice about this person. Because it's been going on for a long time and you want the truth in the matter. I feel like you want the truth. You know, you're not getting the truth. I feel like somebody's being strategic about the truth. So with that card, she's got that sort of truth in her hand. She knows what the truth is. But she's not telling you. She's not giving it up. She's not showing you any emotion. And that could be any sign. It doesn't have to be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I feel like this is why somebody was trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. See, I felt that with this magician here, that there was manipulation coming, that was happening here, okay? And this is, yeah, I feel like there was manipulation and somebody was playing mind games here. But they want to apologize, and I feel like it's this Queen of Swords that wants to apologize to you for the mind games, for whatever it was that they were doing, being divinely guided to a queen of cups. Now this could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. So you may have had somebody who have may have come between you and somebody. You're being divinely guided to a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. You are. But I feel like you had some interference by this person right here. And they know the truth. They know the reason why. They know the reason why. King of Cups, you're trying to master your emotions because of betrayal. Okay. That's, this is, under the bottom of the deck is deception with the Empress. Do you see what I'm saying? The deception with the Empress. I want you to know this, okay? So you're coming in as a masculine energy. You don't have to be a man. You can be a woman. But you're coming in as a masculine energy to me right now. That you betrayed this person. You betrayed this person. You're being divinely guided to a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You betrayed this person. This person up here, this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords was playing mind games and manipulation, okay? And she wants to apologize now. This person wants to apologize, but you're being divinely guided towards this person. But you have to master your emotions with this King of Cups because this is your true match. This person's your true match, okay? You got to master your emotions because you betrayed this person. You betrayed her. So it's coming right underneath the Queen of Cups. You betrayed the Queen of Cups. And I feel like you betrayed the Queen of Cups for this Queen of Swords. Maybe working with this Queen of Swords, now you're manifesting justice. It's been a long time and you need to speak the truth. Why? Because you're mastering your emotions here because of betrayal. And like I said, under the bottom of the deck, you had, there was deception where the Empress was concerned. So somebody manipulated you to betray your Empress, the person that you were meant to be with, your person, your true person. First card out for the reason. Somebody is obsessed, possessed, watching. Somebody had their eye on you. Now, okay, someone's obsessed with watching the it. Okay, interesting here. The person who was resting and recovering and spying was the Pisces. So you have a Pisces that was resting and recovering, but watching. So someone's obsessed watching. What are they watching? This could be an ex. This could be somebody who, queen of pentacles, somebody who is very solid, stable, dependable. They're obsessed with keeping their eye on an ex. They're, that's, I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're obsessed keeping their eye on an ex. Someone's very guarded and defensive, holding back, I feel like, or holding, I feel like someone's guarded and defensive, but they're they're still holding on or holding back from moving on. So something's keeping you in this situation, Virgo. You're in, I feel like you're still there. Why? Because of the energy under the bottom of the deck. You have to make a decision. You're juggling a decision here. You know, you've got to live your life. Whatever you choose is your choice, right? So 
Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Virgo. Um, this also could be, oh, okay, I just realized an X. This could be your energy too. You could be in a feminine energy right now, Virgo, because someone's obsessed with watching you. They got their eye on you. This could be your energy. This could be an X. This could be your energy. You take it how it resonates with you. So, but it's a clear story here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Virgo. What's Virgo need to know? You're coming in as both masculine and feminine here. So you're coming in as a person, a normal person. Okay, so why is the eight of pentacles here? So you're working on this new beginning. You you were your energy. This was your energy. This was your energy when when um when I pulled the cards. You're working on a new beginning of love and abundance. Do you have this queen of swords here that you may have gotten clarity about? You may have seen, gone and done some some soul searching about this queen of swords and you maybe have figured out something here. Why is the magician here? Okay, wait, I want you to see this. So I feel like two stories just came out. Now I'm saying that you could have gotten some clarity about it or this person, this person who's being strategic uh, sees it. The light's been shed on the fact that you're working on a new beginning. Okay, you may be working on a new beginning to get away from this person and this person sees it, okay? I'm just saying that because they're coming out with the queen of wands on top of the magician and I don't like that energy at all. This is the sorcerer in the deck, okay? She's got her wand and her black cat sitting right there. She could be doing, ma she could be doing magic, trying to manipulate the situation. That's what I'm seeing there. Okay, but there's going to be justice for this. This and why? Because it's going to end. Your justice is there's an ending here. She knows that you're moving on to have a new beginning and she's going to try to manipulate the situation. But what is going to happen is that it's going to end with you getting justice. Okay, so she's going to get caught in her own BS. That's what she's going to do. Okay, this has been going on for you for a long time. Now, by a long time, I'm thinking this is, could be going on for two years, a year. Um, take it how it resonates with you, but this has been going on for a long time. And it's causing you heartbreak. You've been heartbroken because of this for a long time. You know what's up. You know what's up. And the truth is going to come out. The truth is coming. You know, everything is going to happen. It happens for a reason. It could be to strengthen you, to uh, put you on your path. Whatever it is, there was a lesson for you to learn. The truth is about who's your two of cups. You know who the truth is on who your two of cups is. You're being divinely guided to your queen of cups. Okay, so Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Take it how it resonates with you. It's not the person, I want you to know right now, it's not the person that's been in your, on and around you for the past couple of years. It's not this person. This is the person that you're getting clarity about or they're getting clarity that you're moving on. Okay, they are a queen of wands here. They are a queen of wands. This is the same person. This is not this person. I want you to realize that this is their, I don't care if this person is a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or this one is a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or if this one is an, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. This is not the same person. This is not the same person as this. This person is this person. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands is one and the same. So there was mind games and manipulation happening, somebody wanting to win at all costs and you felt stuck and bound in that. You felt stuck and bound to this situation. And I feel like they're there. You're unhappy. You're unhappy. You're discontent. And they're wanting to apologize. They're wanting to apologize to you. They want to, you know, make you a small offer or apologize for for causing you so much unhappiness in a situation, I feel like. But you're being divinely guided here. And it's causing you stress. You know, this divine timing. When is this divine timing going to happen? What's going on with this Queen of Cups? Being patient. This person's just being patient. They know what's up. 
just being patient. You're trying to master your emotions, master your emotions to reconcile. You are. You're trying to master your emotions because I feel like you know you betrayed this person and you're trying to figure out how and why would she even want to talk to me or he want to talk to me. Take it how it resonates with you. If you're male, female, doesn't matter. Why would this person want to talk to me after after what I did? Because the betrayal had to do with the strife, jealousy, and competition of this person right here. So you have, you know it. You know that this person caused the drama to cause the betrayal. You know this person caused the betrayal. But you allowed it. That's the whole thing. So someone's obsessed with watching you. They're obsessed with watching you. And they're trying, you're trying to make a, they're trying to make a head over heart decision, seeing whether or not they can apologize to work this out to have a victory. That's what they're watching. They're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to let them come back so that they can win. But you're very guarded and defensive, but you're holding back from moving on because I feel like you you need to rest and recover for your wish fulfillment in a family situation and a new beginning in love. I feel like you're, 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 I feel like what's holding you back, Virgo, is that you have to master your emotions to reconcile with somebody that you did dirty. That's what I think. Because you're wanting to rest and recover so you can have wish fulfillment in a family situation with a new beginning of love. So you're kind of guarded, and I feel like you're protecting yourself, and you're still holding on. Or you may be holding on to this person that you betrayed, and you want to move forward. You do want to move forward. I do see that. Um, this other person from the past... Yeah, I feel like um, <laughs> this tells a story. You're being divinely guided to reconcile. You could be obsessed with this Queen of Cups, okay? And uh, this is your energy. You're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. This relationship between the two of you, you're obsessed with it. It's causing you a tower moment because you have to wait to rush towards them with the truth. That's what this is about. You're, you, you have to rush in and speak the truth. You have to come clean with whatever this was that caused this to happen. You need to be honest. You know, I think everything is fixable, but you have to be honest about it. You have to own your shit, so to speak. Okay, so let's. I still think that that other person's trying to hold on to you, though. So let's see what's going on. Okay, you got to set some boundaries. You're manifesting boundaries. You're manifesting boundaries in love. You are. You're manifesting boundaries in love. You want the answers, and you're going to have your blessings in this commitment, but it's your life purpose, and you're being guided, okay? So you are being guided towards your life purpose. And this person is being divinely guided to towards a certain person. Why? Because they are your true person and it's your life purpose here. This is part of your, your life purpose. But there's lessons to be learned by everything and everybody that we're with in our lives. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. Support, free spirit, light, and magic. Okay. Um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like this was the person. I feel like this Queen of Swords. You felt like this was your support, like somebody was supporting you, but these were friends, you know, around you. This person was a friend around you that you felt like was support, but I feel like there was three of them. Okay, there was three of they, they work in threes, okay? Um, and you felt like this person was a free spirit. Like they were not there for commitment. They were there for a good time. They would do whatever they wanted to do and they enjoyed it. Okay. And, and you thought this person was working with the light. This person was not working with the light. They were working with magic. They weren't working in the light. They were working with magic. I mean, so I don't feel like that this person had your best. I, I feel like it was an illusion. It was an illusion for you. So you felt like this person was a free spirit and they was a good, they were a good time. They were a good time. So, but something's happening to cause it to pause. So some kind of a pause is taking place here and that just flipped out. It wanted you to tell you, put that on pause, put it on pause because it's not meant for you. 
it's not meant for you. Material world. It might have had something to do with money. This could have been you working on a new beginning, could be a job. But I feel like with this material world, it, it could have had to do with money too. This person could have like got you with money, but look, you're having an ascension, you're having an awakening. So you are leveling up. You know who you are, okay? And the action is being taken. You're taking action here, but you were kind of at a crossroads. Um, you're afraid, you feel bound in a situation, but you have free will for a fresh start to communicate. Look at this. So, they don't want you to separate. They don't want you to separate from them, okay? Because of fear. They want you bound to them. They want you bound in fear to them. They don't want you to separate. This is the queen of swords. Doesn't want you to separate, okay? Um, you receive, you know what you've got coming towards you, okay? In the springtime. So it's happening right now. We're getting ready to go into summer. But right now, this is when it's happening. You have free will here. You have the free will to have this fresh start. You're going to communicate. But you feel like there was barriers here that kept you very unhappy, have you in grief, but you understand that now. You understand that she put something up against you to keep you from communicating with the person you were with, okay, or that you wanted to be with. The, that was what was causing the barrier, was this person. They're doing their manipulation. That's what they were doing, keeping you from communicating to who you wanted to communicate to. So Virgo, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to get you some more clarity. So if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you over in Vimeo for the extended.